All right, so a while back, Craig Tool Company reached out and they said that they were coming out with these new products. One was the AccuCut. Acti the AccuCut. It's kind of like a track saw attachment for your circular saw. And they were going to refresh the, uh, the rip cut so that the saws could be interchangeable. They challenged us to come up with a project that Out would be... Out of one piece of plywood. One sheet of plywood. So, this is what we came up with. Two chairs and a side table. Let me show you how we did it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking down the plywood for all the pieces that I'm going to need to, uh, for the chairs and the end table. Um, I'm using the Craig Rip Cut because I've got a lot of duplicate pieces. Uh, for instance, the first four pieces that I'm gonna cut are all three and a half inches wide. So this is gonna make it easy. I put my sheet of plywood on top of an uh, inch and a half thick foam so it's evenly supported throughout and we can go ahead and cut all these pieces, break it all down without having to lug this uh, big sheet of plywood around the shop and get it up on the table saw. It's a lot safer way to cut and um, a lot more efficient. Okay, so I was able to break down this one side of the, the piece of plywood but now I've got to make a 32 and a half inch cut, which is a little bit more than my rip cut capacity of 24 inches. So the cool thing about the new rip cut and the Accu cut is that they're interchangeable. So I'm going to take this, I'll mark a line or mark two, um, two points, I can then slip this off of here and set this right on my Accu cut. And, uh, essentially a track saw. So now I'm gonna mark two lines, then I've got a straight line and cut right down. Okay, so now that I've got all the, the plywood broken down and broken down into boards that I'm gonna eventually cut all the parts out of, um, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere a bunch of templates that I have created um, to those those pieces of plywood and then cut them all out. It's a very kind of uh, funky, intricate design, a lot of angles and stuff like that. So um, the templates for me are the way to go. And as, as always, this stuff will all be available on the website within the plan. So check it out on rogueengineer.com. All right, so now I've got all the pieces cut and we can start putting the sides together. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out all the pieces as they should go together um, to create this half lap X side. Um, once I get them all laid out, I'll use the edge of my workbench to, as a surface to rule from for the bottom of the feet. And then I, once I get everything aligned and the, the joints as tight as I can get them, I'm gonna pull each piece or each top piece off and then I'm gonna glue them together. I'm actually gonna use a uh, rapid fuse, which is a quick setting adhesive, and one and a quarter inch brad nails. This is just gonna hold everything together while it dries. It's gonna dry super quick. We'll pull it off, we'll even clamp it um, for the time being, but it's gonna dry in a matter of minutes versus hours so we can continue working on the next steps. All right, we just got all the sides put together and Jamie went ahead and filled the seams and the nail holes with wood filler. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the seat in the back. Now for the seat in the back, they're pretty much done other than the front, the front two corners of the seat and the top two corners of the back um, are gonna get a radius to those just to ease those because we don't want anybody cutting themselves when they're sitting down. So we're going to, I, I just grabbed a cap to some, uh, some cleaner that we had. It's about two inches in diameter and I set it on the corner and then trace that out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to those, those four corners, not the back two. And then I'm going to use my um, bench top sander to go ahead and make that radius.
All right, so now we've got everything done and ready for final assembly. But before we complete that final assembly, we're gonna go ahead and actually stain the seat and the back for a two-tone look. So we're really impressed that we were able to build two chairs and a table out of one single sheet of plywood. I came up with the design on my own and I love the modern lines and just the, the joints and the exposed, even the exposed edges of the plywood. As always, you can get the full set of plans, including the cut list and templates to make these two chairs and side table out of one piece of plywood. That's right. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, make sure that you do so you won't miss out on any future project videos. As well, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram so you can catch those sneak peeks that we put out while we're building this stuff. All right, guys. Again, as always, be safe and happy building.